Uh, I will take the information. I am going to go back and discuss this with the clerk and come back with a later ruling. Um, so that's what I'm prepared to do at this point. Okay, so thank you for raising that, Mr. Baines. So, um, I'm sorry, just seeking clarification, Chair. Uh, yeah. What does that mean? It means I'm going to come back with a ruling on the question of privilege. Once I look at all, the, all of the information that's been presented by Mr. Baines, uh, other information as it relates to what's in the book and uh, some of the discussion that went on in the past. Do you mean in a few minutes? He has to come back now. And so just, uh, just for clarity as well, that it's not, uh, it's not me that is going to determine whether there is a, a question of privilege here. It's only the speaker that can decide that. Uh, what will happen once I come back and determine uh, whether, in fact, I believe that a question of privilege uh, is, uh, is necessitated here is that uh, there, there would be a motion of the committee to proceed and, and prepare this for the Speaker of the House. So that's how the process would work, okay? So, so at this point, uh, I am not prepared to make a ruling. I'm going to go back and deliberate with the clerk, and I will come back to, to the committee, not within the time period that's prescribed here, but at a later date as well. Sure. So if you have a point of order, go ahead, uh, Ms. Khalid. Thanks, Chair. Um, my understanding uh, from uh, the Green Book and from our standing orders um, is that the role of the Chair in such instances is to determine whether the matter raised does in fact touch on privilege and is not a point of order, a grievance, or a matter of debate. If the Chair is of the opinion that the member's interjection deals with a point of order, a grievance, or a matter of debate, or that uh, the incident is within the powers of the Committee to deal with, the Chair will rule accordingly. I uh, giving reasons. The committee cannot then consider the matter a further as a question of privilege. Should a member disagree with the chair's decision, the member can appeal the decision to the committee, like for example, moving a motion um, or sustaining the decision of the chair, for example. Um, the committee can then sustain that, that decision. So I, I really would um, encourage that we can come to a conclusion on this sooner rather than later, Chair. Uh, as is the precedent set by um, by previous chairs. Okay, I appreciate that. I appreciate the information that uh, that you have provided. Uh, but it also is it's also my understanding, Ms. Khalid, uh, and I've confirmed this that I can take my time to deliberate on this issue, and that is what I am prepared to do, uh, given the seriousness of what Mr. Baines has brought up. So I don't have to make a decision right away. Uh, that's very clear to me, and I'm not prepared to make a decision at this point. I'm going to come back to the committee in due course after I consult with the clerk, and uh, as I indicated earlier, that will not be today. So that's that's my decision. Mr. Thank Chair, you. point of order? On a point of order. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I, would, I would ask you to consult with the clerk as to whether you have the right to go away and make a decision on this. This, uh, according to the Green Book, has to be made as a decision today so that Mr. Baines can or will or will not be able to move a motion. What, what page was the right. Mr. Rock, Mr. Mr. Fisher has yeah. the floor. Um, Based on what? Uh, I, I am pretty sure that I've already looked into this, <laughs> and I am certain that uh, no decision has to be made today that I can actually come back to the committee. I'm certain of that, Mr. Okay. Fisher. So uh, go on the same point of order. Go ahead, uh, um, Ms. Khalid. If we can just perhaps have a decision as to whether or not this matter presented to you is, uh, is a matter of privilege or not, and then you can rule on it uh, at a later time. Well, uh, herein lies the difficulty. As I explained earlier, I, I am not sure whether it actually constitutes a matter of privilege. Uh, and I think it would I think it's unfair of me of that expectation to be placed on me when we deal with questions of privilege in the house oftentimes the speaker will bring information back will go back and seek information either by the clerk or the law clerks uh, in determining whether it's a question of privilege or not so if you're you're asking me to make a decision today I think uh, first and foremost hang on uh, first and foremost I don't have to make that decision 
Secondly, I can go back and consult with the clerk and others on whether, in fact, I believe this is a question of privilege. If I do believe that, then I come back to the committee. I make that decision, and the committee can move forward in a proper manner. If I decide that it's not a question of privilege, then the committee can move back in a proper, in a proper format and manner. I am not prepared at this point, nor do I believe I have to be prepared to decide on the question of privilege that Mr. Baines has raised. Go ahead, Mr. Fisher. Thank you, Chair, and you are right. You, you aren't uh, asked to judge whether this is a point of privilege. You're not judged, you're not asked to come back at a later date to determine whether this is a point of privilege. You are, however, for the asked purposes of to determine today whether it is touches on privilege. That's all the Chair's well, I've, role I've is, is whether this to touches to on um, yeah. And I think, it, I think I've already explained myself in that regard. I realize uh, whether in f I, uh, exactly what you're saying is what I realize and what I understand. Uh, if I do determine, and I'm not prepared to deal with that today or determine that today, uh, given the seriousness of, of the nature of what Mr. Baines has brought up, uh, then I can come back and say, in, in my view, at a later point, whether I do or don't believe this touches on a question of privilege, and then it'll be up to the committee to determine what it wants to do at that point, whether it wants to raise it to the House and then eventually to the Speaker for him to determine. I understand my responsibility. As much as I understand my responsibility uh, and uh, the, the, the option that I'm choosing, given the seriousness of this nature, to not determine at this point whether it raises a question of privilege or not. I have to go back. I'm going to consult with the clerks. Uh, I'm going to consult uh, with uh, parliamentary uh, law clerks and then uh, come back and, uh, and give my determination at that point. Go ahead, Mr. Kirk, on a point of order. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And, and uh, just to ensure that there is absolute clarity, when it comes to Chapter uh, 20, subheading questions of privilege in committee, it uh, does not, in fact, say that a ruling is required today. Uh, so, so just so that those watching and, and whatnot for the edification of, of all committee members, the uh, Bosch and Gagnon is very clear that there is not a time limit, although, of course, the reasonable expectation is expeditiously, and I think we all appreciate that. But I would uh, conclude with this and simply saying I... Uh, I find it that it's troubling that the that the governing watch, party watch would debate. push yeah. push for okay. a decision which okay, certainly I thank think you, underlies Mr. motives yeah. that seem to be nothing more than pure yeah. political. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. Couric. I'm, I'm quite clear on the fact that uh, no decision has to be made today, and that the chair can take his time or her time to render uh, render a decision uh, to the committee. On the same point of order, go ahead, Ms. Khalid. Uh, thank you, Chair. Page 623 uh, of, the, uh, of the book. Uh, proceedings of the House are based on a long-standing tradition of respect for the integrity of all members. So, thus, the use of uh, offensive, provocative, or threatening language in the House is strictly provision. Personal attacks, insults, and obscenities are not in order. And I think that um, based, on, based on what I've heard today, that is exactly they, they, rules they that have been broken. They, they, Okay, thank so, you. Chair, thank you, Mr. I, Barrett. I challenge your ruling. I have made a rule. I made a rule. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I, I, my, ruling, my ruling is that I'm going to come back to the committee, which I think is the prudent and pragmatic thing to do. Uh, you're challenging my ruling on coming back to the committee so that I can look at this in a fair uh fair manner and make a proper decision. Is that is that what you're challenging me on, Ms. Khalid? Seriously? I, I am challenging the integrity uh, and, and what decisions have been made, how much abuse members of, uh, of this committee have taken. Well, that's, uh, based that's subject, on the to, that's subject of, to your uh, opinion. Uh, and I think it is not subject to opinion, Chair. That's the it, whole point it, of it. it is that is what the Green but it's Book, not that your is what point our standing of orders Ms. are Khalid. telling you, Chair, to I am, do. I'm not determining whether, whether you, Chair, you have... you are under obligation to make sure I'm not, that I'm our not, committee I'm not functions argue with in you. an effective I'm not going to argue way. with you on this. There is, no, there is no decision to challenge because the, de the decision that I'm dealing with is on the question of privilege. And I have, I have told the committee that I'm taking this matter seriously and that I'm going to come back to the committee with a determination whether I think, after I look at all of the evidence, including you know, some of the things that, the, the accusations that have been made, 
uh, I, think it's, I think it's fair and prudent on my part to do that. And so I don't think you have anything to challenge, Ms. Khalid, to be frank. So, so I'm going to come back to the committee. That's, that's my decision. Just can I make one more point of order, Mr. Chair? One more point of order. So go you're, you're going to go away and come back to determine whether you feel that this touches on privilege? Which is my responsibility, whether in fact I think Mr. Baines has a valid point and that his privileges were in fact uh, violated. Uh, and then I make a recommendation to the committee and then it's up to the committee to determine whether in fact they're going to move forward with this and bring this to the House in front of the Speaker for the ultimate determination. That's, order, that's how Chair? the process works. And so I'm prepared to do that, not today, but at the earliest opportunity, uh, which uh, will give me some time to consult with the clerks, the law clerks, uh, to determine whether in fact this touches on, on parliamentary privilege. On, on, Mr. Baines. Just on this, can you then set a timeline, make a determination? At the earliest opportunity. I, I'm not sure that the Speaker even sets a timeline when he deals with questions of privilege. Let me do, let me do, let me do my work, let me consult with the clerks, and then I'll come back, and the law clerks, and then I'll come back and make a decision. So that, that could be by Thursday at the earliest. I'm, I am going to, I'm taking this matter seriously, and I'm going to, to deal with it in the seriousness in which it's raised. So. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hang on a sec. So now that, uh, now that we've uh, dealt with that, I'm just going to remind committee members that uh, we are back on committee business. Here, I have uh, another point of order. Uh, go ahead. Uh, on your point of order, Ms. Khalid, please. Uh, thank you. And my point of order refers specifically to Chapter 13 of the House of Commons Procedure and Practice, Third Edition, on the Standing Order Number 18, on Standing Order 116, Sub 1, and it is in relation to actions that uh, Mr. Brock on this committee took against me uh, last week in putting out a, a public statement uh, that put myself in jeopardy, that, uh, that created a lot of, uh, a lot of negative ang angst towards me. And I believe that it violates the standing orders um, that have been laid out with respect to how um, parliamentarians are supposed to conduct themselves in the House and in the committee. This is not the first time this has been done, but and I would hope that this is the last time that it is done. And I, I'm more than happy, Chair, to to start reading to you. Uh, yeah, Ms. Khalid, Ms. Khalid, uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop you there because I don't I'm not sure whether it was it related to committee business. Indeed, it was, Chair. It was very much related to committee business, okay. where Mr. Brock Philip. Point of order. Was, was it in the meeting itself? Yes, it That's was, what I have indeed. to be clear. Point of order. Uh, go ahead on your point of order, Mr. Kirk. So, so I believe that, uh, uh, that, I believe that, that it's I not a point of order that was raised, but rather, Mr. Chair, I would encourage you to follow the speaking list because that certainly sounds like a substantive item of debate. And, and if Ms. Khalid wants to move a motion accordingly, yeah. so she, Khalid, she is Ms. welcome did to, bring but up Mr. A, Barrett has the She, she did bring up a point list. of order. So on, on your point of order, uh, Ms. Sure, Khalid. I, I haven't finished speaking to my point of order, if that's okay. They have what? I, would like, I have not finished speaking to my point of order. Okay, so... I'm, I would like I'm, to outline exactly what happened that helped violate the rules that I have pointed out, which is standing order way, number not, 18, would, standing you, order 16. If you feel that way, would you not want to raise a point of privilege then, similar to what Mr. Baines did? I am Baines raising did? a point of order because clearly, Chair, you're going to take a, take a while to, to rule on any Stop points of privilege. That's, that's it, 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 sure. You know what? In that case, I will I'd be more than happy to do a point of privilege in that case then. Uh, okay. Um, so... Uh, we have another question of privilege being brought up by Ms. Khalid. Uh, so if you want to uh, go ahead, Ms. Khalid, on your point of privilege. Absolutely, Chair. Um, last week, uh, which was May 21st, I believe, uh, during committee, uh, Mr. Brock put out a tweet that said, uh, disrespect in ethics committee, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. The level of disrespect from 
Ikra Khalid during committee is beyond words. Her back is literally turned towards committee members. Disgraceful. Now, I, my understanding of, of the orders, the standing orders, and uh, the rules uh, for House procedure is that this tweet violates my privilege, Chair, and I will show you exactly how. So I will read to you some of the emails that I have received. I will talk to you about some of the point of order, Chair. I have received. No, please don't point of order, Chair. My privilege here. So point of order, I, Chair. Uh, just uh, bear with me here. I'm going to suspend for a minute. Okay. Thank you.
patience of everyone. Uh, we were on Ms. Khalid's question of privilege. I am going to, uh, I'm going to ask her to continue, but I'm also going to ask, similarly to what I asked of Mr. Baines, I want this, uh, a question of privilege uh, should be as succinct as it needs to be in relation to the privileges of the member uh, being uh, violated. Now, I know, Ms. Khalid, that you mentioned uh, something about a Twitter post from last week uh, that, uh, that occurred. Um, I, uh, I'm not, in, I'm going to say this with respect, that I'm not interested in becoming the Twitter police, okay? Sure, no, no. no sure, I, you know what, if point? You have, if you, no, but let me explain. If you have, if you have an issue with uh, the actions of a member that you feel violated your privilege, then I'm asking you to state specifically where that violation occurred. Um, the, the outside circumstances or the opinions of others does not matter uh, to this committee. What matters is whether uh, a member feels like their privileges have been violated. I'm also going to remind members as well, and I'm reminding you, Ms. Khalid, that anything that happens outside of this committee, whether it's a social media post or otherwise, is a matter that can be taken up by the Speaker of the House of Commons. Um, and we've seen in the past where uh, points of orders or questions of privileges have been raised in the House of Commons, and the Speaker has, in some circumstances, ruled on that. So um, any form of litigation related to this, any Twitter messages, because look, look, frankly, you know, I'm going to speak frankly to the committee. I mean, we can go down a very deep rabbit hole on the issue of Point of, of order, Chair. I'm not sure why you're litigating this matter. I would like I'm to speak for what I have, where what, what I have experienced I'm, based on the uh, based on the actions right. of committee so members. So explain the actions. So I, That's I am the absolutely point I'm making, trying to do right? that, Chair, but you're... So, but I'm not, but I, I don't, Ms. Khalid, Respectfully, I don't want to be the Twitter police. I don't want to be a determining factor or the determinant of what's appropriate or what's not. We can do that in relation to a, what a member's action is, but I'm not interested in some numbered Twitter exactly feed of what, what they're I'm saying. To so, speak to, Chair. That so, is exactly so I'm going to allow I'm you to continue to. Uh, with that expectation. So, Chair, go ahead. all I want is an apology for putting my safety and security in jeopardy by a member of, uh, of this committee. That is all I am asking. And I can tell you how much hate I have received on social media. I can read it into the record, how many emails I have received, how many phone calls, people calling me and telling me that I'm so, a fucking cunt because a member feels that I turned my back to him. And I am just trying to look out for myself, I, I, Chair. I, 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 I am trying to look out Ms. for my Ms. safety. Khalid. No, Chair, I'm, you know, you have talked over me. I'm and over me and over me and all I am looking for ask is an apology the, and I am looking language. for That's a deletion all. of that tweet. That is all I am asking for, Chair. So so can I can I ask why are we why are we utilizing committee time? If you have a problem with what Mr. Brock said, Chair, you can Mr. approach Chair, Mr. Respectfully, Mr. Brock. Chair, I don't believe that that Chair, is right. that is possible. When when the, the actions that are highlighted on social media during committee by members have severe consequences for somebody like myself. I'm sorry, Chair. I am not a terrorist. I am not a cunt. I am not the hundred I, I, bazillion I, I, things point of, point that I get chair. called on a daily point basis. Of order, chair. Because point of order, my chair. colleagues Just hang on a second. put hang on a second. me in that position, point Chair. Order, Can chair. you please stop cutting me off? Point of order, Chair. I, I am I'm asking trying, for some decor. I am point of order, trying chair. very hard, Chair, point of order, to, chair. Get my, to get point my order, chair. Okay. across here to raise wait, wait, a no, very no, no. severe concern. Just hang on, Michael. I, I hear your point of order. So, Ms. Khalid, I'm going to ask... Why do I... Why order, am I chair. the only person in this room that keeps getting cut off here, Point of chair? order, Chair. I'm not... He's got a point of order. Chair, I'm going to go to... I'm, order. I'm going to go to Mr. Barrett on a point of order, similarly to what I do with you when you raise a point of order. Okay? And I'm going to ask... I'm going to ask, for the sake of the interpretation, that we not cut each other off. Okay? Mr. Barrett, on your point of order, please. Chair, 
Go ahead. The member is uh, citing uh, correspondence and calls that 